Willow screams and yells on a daily basis. That is enough! No, it isn't enough! It is enough! It is enough with you! Anything can trigger Willow. So I need to go talk to my friend now! What do you not understand about that? But no! She will call me a filthy whore, a bitch. I'm her little puppy dog. I deserve to die. You have those food. Yes, I do, and it's- And you don't follow it! My rules are to keep you safe. Knock it off! And you're doing a job. Her main purpose is to make everybody around her hurt. She has thrown weights at me. There's a 10 pounder. No. Or five. Stop it now. About six months ago, Willow broke my thumb. Her reply was, serves you right, bitch, don't touch me. If I ask her to do dishes, she will look at me and say, you're the slave, not me. Willow has pulled a knife on me, kicked a hole in the wall. She draws all over my walls. I have called the cops over 27 times in the past year. I will call the cops as soon as you leave this house. Do it! I am afraid that she could potentially kill me. Willow takes up every second of my day. Things got so bad that I had to move my son out of the house. My son is staying with my parents. I called DCFS on myself to see what could be done. At this point, I am considering giving my daughter to the state because nothing is working for us. My goal is not to get rid of you. No, I up everything. I just want to be happy. I just want to live with you. But I'm probably not going to be able to do that. I have absolutely failed her. Okay. Uh, Marie, as a life coach, what would you say to someone in your position? I honestly, at this point, I don't know what I would say. Would you say they're in over their head? Yes, absolutely. And you're in over your head, right? Oh, absolutely. I've tried to get multiple resources. I've called multiple people, and oh, I and, can't get it. Well, you have had some help, yes. uh, but she knows how to sabotage that. <laughs> In fact, she said that. I, I, I wrote it down. She said to you, I'll just act crazy, and then they'll have you come get me. Yep. That's a quote directly from her. She knows. You put me somewhere, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just act crazy. They'll have you come get me. So she's smart, and let's, let's get some ground rules here so we know where we are. Number one, I'm not here to throw you under the bus. You could take your own inventory from now till the cows come home. You can critique your own paper and give yourself a, a, a bad grade. But the question is, what do we do now? Is she a bully? She is. She yes. bullies you. Oh, yes. She even takes your food away from you. Yeah, So she I did. tell you you could eat, bitch. Yep, she actually threw some pizza crust at me last night. Is she an evil child? No, I... Is this coming from pain or is this coming from just a dark evil? I would say it's coming from pain, anger, and just so much going on in her mind that she just can't process or doesn't want to process it. So her goal is, as she says, I'm going to keep coming at you until you feel like I do. One thing we know about children when they have been molested, abused, uh, raped, beaten, whatever it is, when they're very young, and they can't fight back, they can't stop, is they have a lot of rage that they push down and suppress. They're screaming inside, they want to lash out, but they can't, either because they're intimidated or physically controlled or whatever. That's all bubbling inside, and then when they get big enough, strong enough, old enough, that they can vent that, then it comes out with a vengeance sometimes. It's not always the case, but sometimes that can happen. It can express in promiscuity, rage, all, all sorts of things. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.